Hey guys, Zeb here from my well, in this video we have the best budget gaming graphic card under 15,000 rupees. It can play any game at 1080p with 45 to 60 fps. And this is the unboxing video and the review video of the graphic card. So if you're new here, if you're new on this channel, press the subscribe button and press also the bell icon so each and every time if I upload any video on YouTube, you'll be sure to notified at first. So let's start. So here is the box of Zotac Z4 CTX 1050Ti, 4GB version obviously. And this is the back side, or as you can see, this is the front side, and it says Zotac and 1050Ti. And it says it supports DX12 game ready drivers and game works, and this kind of uh, you know the words up in front and this side the zotac branding and the model number and the official side it says it price is 25,000 but it's not it available on 15,000 rupees on amazon and this price you can buy it anywhere so in the back side you can get some spec and features and yes the compatibility options is something yes this is not that important if you know about this graphic card it, it is a Pascal series graphic card obviously and I want to tell you guys one thing the graphic card did not support any kind of VR in officially if you want to use another type of VR you know something customization you can use it but in officially it does not support VR if you want a VR graphic card then go for GTX 1060 it will be more superior than it but in this price range this is the best graphic card I have ever seen I have ever used and this is the time for cutting. I really love it. I really love to open new gadgets. You know, everyone likes to. Opening up the box, you get manuals, the solid choice uh, warranty card and manual guides or something like that. This is not that important to us who don't know about this graphic card and the features. Uh, they can read it and they can understand what is there and um, this is the conditions and uh, guide quick guide to initialization guide uh, from Zotac uh, and this is the booklet and it says it supports HDMI uh, coding and you can use three display at one time it supports DVI, HDMI and display 1.4 this is the manual for the graphic card and it says that how much uh, display cable you can use that this is not that much important to me and if you, uh, if you want to know about it then you can read it there is no problem this is the foam let's peel off this foam and take it on this side this is not that much important and this is the graphic card which is covered with soft plastic so let's uh, take it out and let's see how it look like so here is the graphic card it looks uh, not that much premium but good and in this price range and budget category that's enough for us and it gives you good and good performance that you need in 1080p at high settings uh, and this is as you know there is no SLI port because of the budget you know the three uh, cable port there is for using for display, HDMI, display and DVI port here and this is the fan this is the coolest part of the graphic card the ventilations are looking quite nice and overall the graphic card there is a Zotac logo as you can see guys this is glowing not backlighted so that's all for this unboxing nothing too much special so let's uh, go to the specification of the graphic card and features firstly talking about the base frequency of the graphic card it's a 1300 megahertz base speed and the 1400 MHz boosted clock speed the Pascal series graphics card are already overclocked at the factory they don't need the OC edition that much and the memory has a 4 GB of DDR5 memory which is clocked at 7 GHz which is totally too much and 128 bit memory bar which is totally good for 1080p 60fps gaming and it has you know the display port 1.4 HDMI 2.0b and dual DVI ports it consumes too low power than 75 watts and you need the 300 watt minimum power supply to run this graphic card and you know it has a 768 CUDA code that would be awesome in this price range for video editing literally guys the 
graphic card is nice i love it it and this is the best graphic card i have ever seen so yeah that's all for this video if you like then press that like button if you don't like press that dislike button and if you new here consider subscribing we very appreciate that and share this video if you want and for this day goodbye guys i hope i will see you guys in my next video bye bye now